Hey, trying to play the Crucible online from somebody's recommendation. I've never played the Crucible online, Keyforge. Let's see if it works. Uh, start the game. Uh, okay, see my little hand right here. Okay, just like... Just like the Netrunner deal. Uh, yeah, just going to keep this in. Got no kind of sound going on. Okay, choose a house I want to be, so... Okay, it kind of snaps everything to grid, so... Mars first, ready and user-friendly Mars. Archive of car, And I'm playing with the Grim Reminders deck, so... I've only played two Grim Reminders games. Uh, I want to kind of hurry up so I don't have this guy waiting all day. <gasps> Search a deck for... If you're haunted... Man, let's go ahead and go Mars. Let's go and chat. Go ahead and chat to this guy. Hey, my first game on here. Sorry for the slowness. All right, uh, choose a card to play, discard to use. All right, so I can play my whole Mars hand if I want to. No, I can only play one card on the first turn. So why did I play Mars? I'm tripping. Um, so if Glixel proliferator is on flank archive a mars card from your discard pile i have nothing archive a card from your discard pile i have nothing in the discard pile i really shouldn't have played mars but whatever all right i'll play galixel whatever play this creature all right man there's no sound going so so i'm just gonna play this Tolarian community college video that i'm listening to in the headphones if you don't mind, I'm talking about the point system on Commander. Color and artwork. All right, choose a card to play or discard. Oh, hello. All right, Wizards of the Coast is hard at work putting the finishing touches on their new Commander power level ranking system, probably with the goal of having it ready for Magicon Vegas in just a few weeks. Okay, they play They've an already artifact shared to the some information about this new four-tiered bracket system. Most powerful cards they play, um, determine which power level bracket action essence scale action destroy a friendly creature if you do ago, ready and use a friendly creature that shares a house with the destroyed creature okay and then drecker damage dealt to drecker's neighbors down. during fights now, course, is also dealt to drecker reap still win all right so i choose my house by wizards of the coast in fact, Gavin has expressed a desire to hear community feedback to help them shape this new system. And that is exactly what this video is. And yet, it isn't about the bracket system. Not exactly. You see, the subject of creating a more formal power uh, level system for Commander got me thinking man, these about how one complex. could accurately quantify uh, let's just go Mars. power level. And the more I thought about it and discussed it with others, the more I came up with the this following guy. question. Could a point system with flank, let's go left flank. Now you may be familiar with the point system this that the Highlander uses. And I've yes, that's the only card I can discard. I don't know. Play archive a card from your discard pile after re. Play archive a card commander. from your discard pile. Okay, I have something in my discard pile. Okay, I guess that card. That's what I did. Archive in it. In this video, I will outline how a point system would work for Commander. I will talk uh, about the Just get this out of my hand. My get an amber. I also want to talk about the pitfalls of creating Ready this guy. a formalized power level system for Commander and why I believe my proposed system circumvents many of these pitfalls. Uh, and please note, this target. proposal is intended as a thought blah, 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 blah. exercise. A point of conversation and exploration, is on your flank. but it is by no card from meant as a proposed I don't have any. I really but want to just outline both this idea and then hear what people think of it. Whether you think it would work, whether you think it will not work, and especially the reasons behind those. Oh, okay, I do have a Mars card. Okay, cool. Clear, I, also, I, I, I guess I get to archive that with. That oh, what happened? I thought I had two creatures out there. Let's scrap this whole bracket thing and create the exact right, same whatever. system that the professor suggested instead. I prefer playing in. Um, <laughs> no, I have the utmost respect for Gavin I prefer and the entire playing in physical, team of people I can see. currently working on this official bracket system. Right, so how many Amber do I have? One Amber. Heart, and they certainly oh, have no, the I have three. They have one. create something that works. And I'm genuinely looking forward to seeing the complete breakdown of this bracket system plan that they come up with and then discussing it in a future video. But I am yeah, making so what do y'all think about the new commander point system? I have an idea 
that reminds me of um Mage Wars. Commander has merit, and I want to share that idea. It sounds with cool to me. And even if you disagree with how this would work through explaining and exploring, right, so I can play Untamed, or I can play Equidon. To ideas and systems that you believe right, shopping spree, discard merit. your hand, draw a card for each card Sometimes discarded this way. Each haunted player refills their hand one step, one additional card. Work. And so, discard a card from your hand, draw a card. Ask the question, can a point system work for Search commander? your deck for a card I and put it into your hand. And I do have archives too. Oh, and by the way, if you are looking for an awesome storage solution for your giant collection of commander decks, then activate boom, target. Oh, then maybe you should check out the many things Archive from target Jigs, yeah. such as the Potama Jigs, which are a great way for storing your commander decks. Or I could just keep spamming queue. Mars, which Potama is what Jigs I think I may do. Card storage box, perfect for anything from commander decks to your personal magic cube. They're made of a fantastic they have two amber. board game box with a durable inner tray, all of which makes this a product built to last and take care of your yeah, collection. Yeah, I guess I'll keep spamming Mars, I guess. Double-sleeved commander decks with room for tokens. Okay, first I gotta choose All a house. I'll go Mars. 1,000 plus card capacity. Which yes. means Potamajigs are also great for your cube. Potamajigs can hold a 360, 450, or 500 Archive card. Archive a Mars card, card from your Discord pile. All with pile. extra room for lands, tokens, and more. And what better way to organize that cube than Play with Cubamajigs? The reusable gaming packs that are also part of the Thingamajigs line. Perfect for cube, Cubamajigs recreate the experience of opening a sealed pack of cards. They also serve as a great way to store and sideboard your cards together and come with a wide range of Let's color think. and artwork options. I love how there's room not only for my Get nine double-sleeved commander decks, but also for their many associated creature, this tokens. One. I can even fit these snap cases that I use Reap for my heads you these. win, tails you lose commander deck with the little things right, Play right there. Play archive of cards at the read target it also archive works target. For cubes and I use the cube of jigs for my jumpstart Reap. half decks. There's just so many applications. Okay, but you gotta or target itself is what's happening. Okay. On your wall with frame of don't worry though, frame okay, so I got six, so I can four is next turn, maybe. But they're gonna reap though. Quickly and easily swap out and gain Archive that again. Without the complication of having to pull apart a traditional frame. So whether it's a cool uh, way to frame to and display your cards and still have them in accessible, reusable game. I probably shouldn't play Mars cube, again. Or just an entire Potamajig storage solution for said cube. Or up to this nine video is very weird. Commander decks. So be sure to check out the full line of things from Thingamajigs linked in this video's description. And thank you for sponsoring this video. All right, they Point stole some system. of my amber, I'm sure. Descriptive, not restrictive. Yeah, I don't think Point I'm gonna go Mars again. A method for measuring game I could go Equidon. That's used in many different kinds of games beyond Magic I'll be Gathering. giving up my Within Untamed. Gathering, it's most prominently known as the system used Okay, actually, you know, Canadian I think I'll play um, um, Untamed to purge their artifact. Get assigned point values based upon their power level. In most cases, these point values are assigned alongside a point total seal. If you're haunted, archive grave pixie. Any card legal and vintage, okay, but um, not haunted at all. I got zero points. in the discard. Black Lotus is worth seven points. Soul Two Marcos. Is worth four points. Play Jervy. Five original Moxen are worth three points each. No. I can feel you typing out a comment right now as you hear those words. Play so I have to clarify something about my proposed left. system right off the bat. Play Grave Unlike on the Canadian right. Unlike Highlander, I am not Play Grave on the point left. system that includes a point total limit. That is to say, while cards would be assigned point totals and relative claimed by to their nature, power level, there would not be a set number of points that a deck could contain. The goal of this proposed system is to be descriptive, not restrictive. I want players to be able to have pre-game conversations about their deck's power levels I'll get, while talking about I'll get the both same of those thing. Of the pips. This is not intended to hamper creativity Choose a creature or to catch your amber from putting all the strongest cards in your deck if that's what you want to do. That the goal one. is to give players a framework for comparing the strength of their decks to one another, oh. not to prevent players from catch playing amber. against a stronger or weaker deck if that's this what one. players want to do. Uh, so how card might player a discard. point system work in Commander? For starters, all the strongest cards in the format I can Soul forge right now. Petal, swords to Maybe. Plowshares to Fierce Guardianship, and with that, I will in turn. Altar, get assigned point values from, say, 1 to 10. The best cards are worth don't 10 points. Your eyes. The good, but much less good cards eyes. are worth Ooh. much less points. 
vast majority of commander don't, don't, don't. cards are worth zero points. A player would determine their deck's point total by calculating the sum total of all the points in their deck. At the same time, a points-based tier system could right, they got six two. I think there's a lot right, of ways to do this. I can but, choose for the example, color. If you're assigning between Red zero Baron, and ten so we'll just go card, then here's yellow. one way you could break down the point tiers. Even Remember, though course, that guy's not example, playing, the highest point tier could be power that guy's playing mass mutation. Totaling I think points or greater. This would be not the playing bar tier. Uh, 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 Amber and any other deck that wants to load up. All right, I got a bunch of Equidon, so I'll play Equidon. Easy to assemble infinite combos. Every card on a power level five deck is included for the explicit purpose of making the deck stronger, faster, and player refills their hand. I've only got one in the discard. They've got three. Other decks that do the same. Most of these decks win by assembling and the old tinker. Combo. The next highest point tier would be power. Discard a card from your hand, draw a card. 75 and 99 points. These point totals are not stress Play you out. Mind you, but I'm including them Destroy each creature your opponent archives the top. If this system were to actually be three cards of the deck, there would need to be a lot of discussion and probably some trial and error to determine where the point demarcations should actually fall. But in our example for power level Is four, worth we'll it? say 75 to 99 points. This would be a tier for high powered, but not necessarily CEDH decks. Power level four decks no. may include some, but not They've got all more than possible me. fast oh, no. mana, tutors, and other cards that would be auto Choose an enemy creature and a friendly creature until end of turn, the friendly creature's power is equal to the enemy well, creature's. But are not quite as consistent I'll play that just for the amber. Disruption. Think optimized Prosper the Tome Bound, oh, uh, no. Normal Drotha the Gravetide decks. Optimized versions of these decks are powerful, synergistic, but not quite as cutthroat as power level 5 decks. Next up would be power level 3 from 50 to 74 one, points. This is a tier I consider to be the optimized creature synergy opponent. These decks include the all the best cards that synergistically belong with their commander, and not many that are just generically powerful have no regardless of who your commander is. Expensive cards that synergize well with the commander are not excluded for oh, I have one. reasons. There's not much room for and you know what? I'll just play it. Whatever. Other cards that are off plan. Decks in this tier are too focused on these play this guy. cards. On the other hand, there's not many generic tutors or much fast mana. Apart from those that directly synergize, and I'll go ahead and play this too. Blink deck, running recruiter of Draw the guard, a new hand of one card. These decks pack plenty of interaction. And it's Equidon, yeah. Lucky. Alright, at the start of each turn, the active player three, takes control of this creature. Of reliably preventing this creature may be used as it belongs to the active the house. Tier is the power level two Elusive. Discard a card from your hand, draw a card. Eh, whatever, I'll play it. Tier. These are decks that have made some improvements on a pre-con or other budget deck, but that haven't guy. been fully optimized. Maybe your deck would love a Nixon. It's turn back up to four Amber, nice. You've chosen not to spend the $30 necessary to acquire one. Still, you've Okay, they've got a key too. I didn't even notice they had a key too. From your pre -con for upgrades in the $5 to $20 range. Even after making some upgrades, there's still plenty of room in your deck for your favorite pet The good thing about this is I don't have to worry about getting my other card back from Power the other guy that I have on their side tier. of the board. Most, if not all, pre-cons fall in this tier. Budget decks do as well, as do many homebrews just made up of whatever cards you happen to own. Man, I wish I had another boy right now. This is, of course, the most casual tier, though many decks in this tier can still compete with the tier above it. Oh, I might be an untamed hand. Turn. The soul ring problem, or how to account for powerful. These players shuffle their discard cards. pile into their deck. One of the fundamental problems with commander power level discussions Deal three damage is the to an fact enemy that creature. many of the strongest cards in commander are also the most ubiquitous. Soul Ring, got a witch. Command I'll probably get rid of the witch, arcane probably. Arcane Signet all go in almost every commander deck. Swords to Plowshares belongs in any white deck. Birds of Paradise in any green deck. I'm almost Skull haunted. Clamp often shows up in oh, my thing went away. So how do you okay, they got rid of my artifacts. Do they deserve to belong in higher tiers alongside similarly powerful? Yeah, I guess we'll go untamed hand. Cards, or should they be grandfathered into a lower tier Scrap level? Scrap my wish to kill their witch. Okay, uh, what is it? Well, you have four if more. You are nine tiers, untamed creatures in a play ready. Oh, right, yeah, we'll get rid of that. But if you put them at the higher tiers, then you run the risk of categorizing precons okay, at the same archives? level as a CEDH deck. The reason I, I think right a point now. system no. 
would and could work is because this system fully accounts for the existence of cards like Soul Ring without arbitrarily categorizing I don't want to play it, some I want to scrap powerful it. cards as casual with other powerful cards as competitive. Here's what I mean. Let's continue to I don't want to play it, I want to scrap it. Cards point values between 1 and Oh 10. man, how do you go back? If we give, for example, Soul Ring a point value of 10, Skull God Clamp it. I want to scrap this. And Swords to Plowshares and Command Tower point values of 1 oh, each. Is just, then these four left, cards would combine But I don't want to play it, I want to scrap it. Points. You have room for another 8 points worth of cards if you want them without the deck reaching the next tier up. This I don't feels know, man, it sucks. I want to scrap it. Most pre-cons and other casual or budget decks. If you establish a scale where Swords to Plowshares is a 1, Soul Ring is a 10, and every card weaker than God Swords dang to it, Plowshares man, I press is a back. 0, then evaluating deck power level I knew this in, uh... Skull Clamp okay, how do I return to the game? Four, while Rhystic Study would be an 8. Chrome Mox, Time Twister, these cards are 10s. Maybe Tutors and the best-in-class free spells like Fierce Guardianship are 9s. Okay. Let's say the fetch lands are all 4s. If you have one, it won't buff the power level of your deck by Each too player much. suffers their discard pile into the deck. Land legal in your no. commander's color identity, all of a sudden you're looking at a power level boost of 24 or greater. That's enough to raise your deck a full tier. To me, that seems consistent. I'll just play regrowth, whatever. Power level boost, a mana base full of fetches provides. Again, I'm not actually proposing specific point value assignments for any specific card here. These are just examples to try to illustrate what a point system would do for Commander. We're starting from scratch, as Commander has never had anything like this. But while it would take time and, yeah, a lot of fine-tuning, I truly my believe that a fully okay, fleshed great, out Dixie. version of this kind of descriptive Left point flank. system could result in a reasonably accurate set of power level categories and therefore make pre-game conversations something tangible to work with. Reap. Some cards might need context-dependent point values. No, I'll Maybe fight. Maybe Thassa's Oracle is only worth a couple of points if you aren't playing fight Demonic bitch. Consultation cool. or Tainted Pact. But suddenly, Oracle, all right, intern. Consultation, and even Pact are all worth 10 points if they are present All right, I can reap unless they steal. Likewise, Underworld Breach might be an Cinder. inoffensive without brain a freeze, a funny creature. but with both cards in the 99, they should jump to a 10 together. And you can get as granular as you want here, too. Combo of course, to enable manual values, mode. Depending on whether they're actually being used, and whether uh, the card they combo I guess so, whatever. in the command zone or merely in the 99. You'd of course have to weigh the benefits of getting specific with the cost of making things more complicated. But as yeah. long as you stick with what's intuitive, I believe you won't get into trouble. I think everyone can understand why Curiosity, for instance, might be a zero point they must card have messed up or something. used to go infinite, but an eight point card if either Niv Mizzet Paran or Firemind is in the command zone. And given that these point totals are meant as a tool rather than a hard and fast set of rules, playgroups can continue to self-regulate the way that they always have, using house rules to tweak the point systems to their liking or just ignoring them entirely. Now, there's an elephant in the room I haven't yet Did addressed. Did they get rid of a card? Commander okay, they got rid of my guy. List. I believe a ban list would still be a part of this system. Some cards are simply too Not powerful, Marguerite. too unattainable, Somebody. or too unfun to be legal in Commander Someone because there's no head, upper limit to the point totals. Choose which house I want to play. To it's looking like a Mars turn. Cards just by assigning them a high point total. Okay, I they stole two Amber, it looks like, or captured or something. They stole two. Or got rid of two. Honoring the spirit of Commander. Commander is and has always been a format about self-expression. Players want the freedom to build a deck that fits their playstyle, using all their favorite cards okay, without having to think too hard there. about whether all, all right, like a nine of the turn. cards they picked fit into a specific bracket yes. or metagame. You can put, for example, a couple of cards that are CEDH staples in your deck without having to play against other CEDH decks as a result. When a player opens a sweet card like a fancy promo vampiric tutor or mana drain in a pack of a premium commander set, that should unequivocally be an exciting moment regardless of the power levels of that player's decks. They should Put be able to slot that awesome, powerful card right into their favorite commander deck without automatically disqualifying the deck from its previous power level bracket. Left flank. The bracket system announcement mentioned a framework for a player who has a tomb-themed commander deck and wants to run Ancient Tomb without having to play against bracket four decks. The article said that that player could tell their playgroup, my deck is a two without Ancient Tomb, but a four with Ancient Tomb. That's all well and good, but why 
put an upgrade from play into your archives if you're not the owner of that card and it leaves your archives put it into its owner's hand instead whatever that means i don't feel like trying to understand that right now right flank i think it's important that a power level discussion doesn't lose sight of the forest through the trees. He's on a flank. Yes, archive. formal power level tiers would make pre-game conversations easier. Archive of cards from the discard pile. pre-game conversations pile. are only worth doing if they make the subsequent game right. more fun. Therefore, accuracy in evaluation is incredibly important. As oh man, I played that all wrong. For understanding the nuance man, like how do you go back? Deck building in Commander. Man, a descriptive, whatever. not restrictive point system is both simple enough to make for easy pre-game conversations while still allowing for the kind of granular nuance that comes with player self-expression. Creating a system like the one I've outlined in this video wouldn't Man, I had a nice combo set up on this today. It may take some experimentation. Maybe there would the be flank. a beta testing period, right. similar to how Wizards of the Coast did when they created Pioneer. Player feedback would be immensely valuable throughout this process. This, of course, has just been one idea about how a point system could work Okay, no, I still got it going. Okay, um... A point system would work for Commander. I feel that a well-designed point system could be precisely so ready and the use thing the that right. pre-game conversations have been needing to actually do what they're supposed to do. Make games of Commander more fun. But Reap now, with this most guy. importantly, I would like to hear from you. What do you think about the practicality of a point system for Commander? Either After as Reap. I've outlined in this video, or perhaps using Archive some other Mars implementation, from my Discord let file. me know in the comments below. A great exercise would be to watch the newest episode of Shuffle Up and Play with Pleasant Kenobi and One More Mana, where we all attempted to build what we thought were jank decks. Take a look at that video and let me know what bracket or point system. Man, I should have got to archive the card. For jank but whatever. Decks such as we play here. Also, it's a lot of fun, and I'm just plugging it. Check it out. Linked in the video Don't description. Don't know why it didn't work, but and remember, whatever. if you were looking for Commander Deck Storage Solutions, that should have got archived. Whoa! Then look no further than the many things from Thingamajigs, including the Potamajigs, which is perfect for your Commander collection or even your cube. So whether it's three a cool now, to frame and display your cards and still have them accessible, reusable gaming packs for your cube, or just an entire Potamajig storage solution for said cube, or up to nine double sleeved commander decks. Okay, I got three cards per description for the full line of things from Thingamajigs, and thank you I guess for Infernus. sponsoring this video. Alright, I did not listen to that video too much at all. Alright, uh, looks like a Mars turn. Or is it an Untamed turn or an Equidon turn? Alright, I got three Amber. They got three somehow. I thought I had... I thought I just had six. I don't see anything captured on them. This creature gains. Your, your Amber can't be stolen. Man, let's just go Mars and reap for the world. Have to fight if you're haunted. Nope. If I put an upgrade from play into your archives, I'm mean, asked to put that into the archive. Uh, play archive a card from your discard pile. Archive target guy. Archive target Yinks. Uh, Yinks noddle. There's only one. Do, do, I mean, do I just want to reap or what? Okay, uh, let's see my. I mean, uh, let's see my Equidon. While you're haunted, discard your hand, draw a card for each card. Uh, a friendly captures one for each of its. A friendly creature in each of its neighbors captures one. Discard the top 10 cards of your deck. If you discard five or more cards, the same. Steal two. Okay, so I would have to kill that first. I could just reap out. I don't know. Okay, I won the game, I guess. Whatever. House phase game one. Okay, that guy concedes. Okay, whatever. Okay, now the guy reconnected. And then the guy left the game. Alright, whatever. All right, yeah, I told the guy, like, it was my first game on here, so. 
I mean, we're playing all right. We haven't been playing that long. It's just been a 24-minute game. The game's supposed to last like 35 minutes, I believe. We got one key each. But, yeah, still new to the interface. But, uh, anyway, and it was kind of a tie game. It was my turn. I'm unfamiliar with the cards, and I think I would have did a Mars turn and just reaped out. I don't know. Really, I really don't know. All right, but anyway, that's my first game on the Crucible. I'm sure I'll play some more later. Anyway, come back for some more Keyforge stuff.